Ambulance service, what's the address of the emergency? That's Old Farm, Tunstead. A man has fell off uh, in a barn. Yeah, you want to hurry up? Yeah, we're well on the way to you. Mm. You know, this is mm. urgent, urgent, you know what I mean? Yeah, they, they come in lights and sirens mm. as fast as they can, and it's uh, the two mm. closest vehicles we've got. Mm. first point of memory is waking up in Addenbrooke's having spent five weeks in a drug-induced coma. Don't trust luck. Luck is nothing you can actually bank on. You can't say to someone, oh, you'll be all right if you're lucky. My name is Tim Papworth. Uh, we're here at uh, Lodge Farm Felmingham in uh, North Norfolk between the market towns of Elsham and North Walsham. I look after the beef cattle here at Lodge Farm and I also look after the veg, i.e. mainly the potatoes. October, this is the 14th of October, October is one of the busiest months on the farm. Um, my alarm went off at um, 5.45, which is normal for me every day of the week, and um, got up, uh, went downstairs, uh, had a cup of tea, had a telephone conversation with um, my cousin who I farm with to sort out what we were doing for the day. We uh, went to see the harvester first and make sure that the guys in the field were lifting correctly, not bruising the potatoes and the trailers were all right. And then I went to the store to see my store manager and um, he informed me that he had a slight problem that um, it was dark and dangerous because the light bulb had gone. So I just actioned straight away, get up a ladder, put a light bulb in, job will be sorted. Yes, I didn't think at the time that um, it really required a, a, a loader with a man cage. And I thought, well, I'll take the easy route. And that easy route cost me uh, dearly, to be honest. I don't know how I fell, but I fell about 14 feet. Uh, you know, it was fate. I, I couldn't try and sort of grab anything. My spine is solid, so I couldn't react and I felt very badly. They said it took two people to hold me down because I was in this fright and flight mode. I wanted, I was hurt and I wanted to get the hell out of there. First point of memory that I have is waking up in Addenbrooke's. Uh, when I came round, um, I'd had um, pipes and tubes down my throat for uh, those five weeks. I had to, uh, I had to have a voice box put on my throat that I could press to be able to push some air through to be able to speak any words at all. This arm didn't work; it used to hang there because I affected, effectively hit the right hand side of my head. It affected the left hand side of my body, so I was paralysed on the left. I was a good year. Um, a year before uh, I was able to work, it, um, it affected um, my, my whole family and, and work colleagues and everybody really. It really did start to play on my mental health. Um, fortunately, my wife was advised to have the guns removed from the house because there was really dark moments where I thought, well, I, the best thing I can do, I'm, I'm a drain on this family now. They all have to help me to eat, to, to get dressed, to do anything. And I, there was times when I thought the best way I can get is get out of here. And fortunately, I didn't have the means to be able to do it.
Take more time is the, is the one thing I would suggest that, that uh, people did. Think about what they're doing and, and take more time to do the job. I've been lucky. You might not be so lucky as me. Don't trust luck. Thank you.